Top 10 Foods That Potentially Cause Cancer The Big C Cancer Not a word that anybody wants to say, hear, or even think about. It's a scary disease, and there is no way to sugarcoat the fact that cancer will affect around one in three of us. Let's let that sink in for a moment. Despite that anxiety-inducing statistic, there are ways that we can reduce our overall risk. Now, certain lifestyle factors can significantly affect the risk of developing cancer, and so can some of our food choices. It might seem as there's a new cancer-causing substance waiting around every corner, and a lot of them are pretty obscene. There have been many studies proving that certain vegetables can cause cancer, and even claims pointing the finger at the humble lettuce. Now, I'm not sure about you, but if a salad can cause cancer, my entire life may as well be a lie. Such claims can make it really difficult to make conscious food choices and differentiate between the good and the bad. That is precisely why we've put together this list of potentially cancer-causing foods, all of which are based in indefinite fact. One, genetically modified organisms, GMOs. If you start your day with cereal, cook with canola oil, or enjoy sinking your teeth into cobs of corn, then the chances are that you are also chowing down on bucket loads of genetically modified foods. GMOs are plants and animals that have been altered in any way by embedding genes from one species into another, a practice commonly known as gene splicing. Splicing can make plants resistant to stronger pesticides, hardier in lousy weather conditions, and can also increase crop yields. Think jacked up, roid raging superfoods, and definitely not in a good way. All of this is great for farmers and giant corporations, but maybe not so great for our well-being. GMOs are relatively new, and despite extensive research, not a whole lot can be said for their long-term effects on the body. The main concern is that altered DNA entering our bodies through food might encourage cells to mutate into cancerous ones. Now, there have also been tests showing that GMOs rapidly increase the rate of cancerous tumor growth. To stay clear of genetically modified foods, always choose organic GMO-free vegetables and meat that has been strictly grass-fed. Number 2. Processed Meats the Smoked sausage, lunch meats, and bacon are all among some of my closest friends. Now, like many people, bacon might just be my weakness, but don't let the salty, mouth-watering deliciousness of this deli sweetheart seduce you with their puppy dog eyes. Processed meats are vessels of saturated fat, salt, and cholesterol, all at the ready and eager to sink your ship. Bacon, hot dogs, and salami are all listed as class 1 carcinogens, which puts them in the same realm as tobacco, meaning that they cause cancer, period. Pack of cigarettes or frankfurter with ketchup. Pick your poison. The nitrates and salt found in processed meats are the main cancer-causing culprits. While these may keep the meat fresh and tasty, they're also chewing up your insides and spitting the remains to potentially cancerous cells. Uncured meats and cold cuts are unquestionably a far healthier option and still make a damn good sandwich. Up next, we have microwave popcorn. Movie snack or health horror. Microwave popcorn might seem innocent with its fluffed up appearance and subtle crunch, but these little devils can be laced with chemicals that are devastating for testicular health. Not only can these chemicals found in microwave popcorn stop your swimmers from performing, they can also lead to testicular, prostate, and pancreatic cancer. The problem with the little poppers are not the kernels themselves, but the lining of the bags they come in. When microwaved, the plastic chemicals of the popcorn bag lining can leach their way into the corn. But that doesn't sound very appealing to me. And whether you like your salty or sweet, Try popping your next batch on the hob to avoid all the plastic chemical nasties. 4. Soda Sugars, artificial sweeteners, colors, flavorings, the ingredients list on this soda can is not looking too great. It's no secret that cans of soda are not the healthiest drinks to be sipping on regularly. But besides racking up my dental bill, how bad really are they? 
fizzy drinks are filled with a long list of crazy substances that I can't even read. Now, luckily, some super bright scientists can, and they say that all that gobbledygook essentially translates to an acidic body. Having an acidic body pH has been directly linked to providing the perfect environment for cancer cells to grow. It can also encourage the cancerous mutation of common skin tags, such as moles. If you really need the fizz of your favorite pop, kombucha, a naturally sweetened, slightly fizzy, fermented drink is a fantastic alternative. 5. Diet Foods and Beverages Now, if you're tempted to go for diet sodas or health foods in an attempt to find a loophole, don't be so hasty. The only thing worse than unhealthy foods are ones that taste similar but claim to be low or even zero calorie alternatives. To achieve a calorie-free fizzy drink that maintains all of the sweetness, piles of artificial chemicals and flavorings have been added to make up for the lack of sugar. Sugar isn't exactly a saint in the eyes of health, but these chemicals do an excellent job of making it seem that way. Anything that is labeled as a healthy food or diet alternative is usually going to be laced with hidden chemicals that are known to promote cancer in the body. 6. Refined White Flowers Soft, pale, and unthreatening, white bread is a lot like my ex-girlfriend. Well, jokes aside, the refined white flowers that make up the outskirts of your PB&J, crust cut off, obviously, can be a serious cause for concern. Irregularly eating processed carbohydrates, white flowers included, have been found to potentially increase the risk of breast cancer by 220%. This is because refined carbs have a high glycemic index, meaning that they spike blood sugar levels and decrease the body's sensitivity to insulin. Both of these combined create a carcinogen paradise where cancer can grow, thrive, and spread. Now, the great thing about bread is that there is literally a million different types, some of which are far healthier than others. The sourdough, for example, is excellent for the digestive system, has been found to have anti-cancer properties, and is crazy Instagrammable when topped with smashed avocado. 7. Refined Sugars Similar to processed flours, refined sugars also have an incredibly high glycemic index. The refined sugars make up the majority of simple carbohydrates, which are absorbed really quickly by the body, giving an almost instant energy boost. This is great for Usain Bolt getting ready to blaze his way through the 100-meter final. Not so great when you're at home practicing your sitting down. The refined sugars are stored away by the body if they're not used right away, resulting in weight gain. This increases your risk of diabetes, slows down your metabolism, and damages your immune system. Cancer doesn't tend to pick and choose who it affects, although it does like to prey on those that are overweight and who don't have their natural defenses in check. If you have a sweet tooth, opt for unrefined sugars instead, such as honey or date syrup. Fruit can also satisfy sugar cravings. And on that note, number eight apples, grapes, and other dirty fruits. This is one of those items that makes everybody think, well, if this can give me cancer, then anything can. But hear me out. It's not just any fruit that can cause cancer. In fact, it's not only the fruit at all. The true offender is the pesticide residual that is sprayed on some fruits to protect them from birds, insects, and diseases. Now, you might think that simply washing them off before eating will solve that issue. But before you go around sharing your hashtag life hack, hashtag fruit hack, now keep in mind that the skin of all fruits are porous and the fruit itself will absorb a lot of those pesticides. Hashtag back to the drawing board. Buying certified organic is the only way to completely avoid pesticide sprayed dirty fruits and their cancer causing effects. The same goes for fruit smoothies and juices as well. 9. Farm Salmon I'm always preaching about the benefits of eating fish. It's great for your bones, heart health, and even keeps your hair looking perfect with just the right amount of shine. But not all fish gets the A-plus in the health department, 
and some have been found to contain traces of cancer-causing chemicals as a result of factory fish farming. Salmon is a super source of healthy fats, such as omega-3, which has a list of health benefits the length of my arm. Still, by cramming thousands of these fish in tanks, feeding them fake food, and trying to fatten them bad boys up as quickly as possible, the effects will undoubtedly leave a bad taste in your mouth. Now, farmed salmon is usually contaminated with several carcinogens, from pesticides and antibiotics to flame retardants and microplastics. Always go for wild caught from traceable sources if you're trying to keep on the right side of your health. 10. Hydrogenated Oils You might not have heard of hydrogenated oils before, but I'm sure most of you have heard the term trans fat. Trans fats have a terrible reputation, and that's because they're really, really bad for you. Trans fats occur naturally in some foods in small quantities, but food producers can also manufacture them quite easily. The trans fats that food producers use are only partially hydrogenated and pose the biggest risk health. Despite this, manufacturers continue to use hydrogenated oils because they increase the shelf life of foods and are more cost effective compared to unprocessed alternatives. The trans fats are the super villains of the fat world. They clog your arteries, raise blood pressure, and are literally the kryptonite of the heart. A diet high in trans fats is a leading cause of heart disease and is also a massive contributor to the development of all cancers. If you want to avoid trans fats, you're going to have to go easy on the pre-packaged baked goods. Swap out the margarine for some olive oil and avoid deep fried foods at all costs. Well, it might seem as if nearly everything can cause cancer and there's no sidestepping your unfortunate, unavoidable fate. The truth is that dodging cancer-causing foods isn't all that difficult. If you think that something might be unhealthy, then it probably is. It's as simple as that. The great thing about food is that there is an endless amount of information available to us. And for every ingredient that we want to use, there's a healthier alternative out there just waiting for us to enjoy. In a sentence, Avoiding potentially cancer-causing foods can be done by eating a diet that is rich in as many organic, unprocessed whole foods as humanly possible. How do you describe food? Tasty? Appetizing? Scrumptious? Yummy? Delicious? Delectable? Mouth-watering? Fit for a king? Delightful? Lovely? Wonderful? Pleasant? Enjoyable? Appealing? Enchanting, charming, just like Amazing Foods TV. Now that you're hungry, you probably shouldn't go to the store. You know what they say about shopping while you're hungry. But there is nothing wrong with leaving a comment for us or liking and subscribing to our channel while you're hungry. We appreciate all your support. If you have any ideas you want us to discover for a future video, leave those thoughts in the comments also. See you next time. Bon appétit!